Some things feel heavier and more present within the image in comparison to other elements. And it is our role as artists to understand it and to use it to our advantage in order to create balanced images. So today, let's talk about visual wave. This is the second part of the composition topic. So if you haven't watched the first one, stop here and watch it now. The link will be in the corner. Visual Wave is a compositional tool that attracts viewers' eyes to a focal point. So first, we should come with the idea how we want to show our image and determine our focal point. And then, we should think how we want to balance this. So let's go over some main factors that affect Visual Wave. If there is a figure in the image, it will likely have more visual wave than other elements. Figure and faces arouse the interest immediately and draw attention in their direction. Do you remember this example I've shown you before? By using characters in the image, you can guide your viewer, you are able to show what's important in the first place. Even the look, the direction of the character is important because we naturally look in the same way the character is looking at. Our eyes are naturally drawn to the area of the highest contrast in the image. The main goal in this visualization was to emphasize the outside garden and its connection with the bathroom. By using the high contrast between interior and exterior, the garden is exposed and the viewer's eyes are automatically directed to this area. In general, dark elements have more visual wave than light elements. Larger objects feel heavier than small objects. They get more attention. We naturally see them first and spend more time looking at them. Objects with a regular shape appear heavier than objects with an irregular shape. The irregularity gives the impression that the mass has been removed from the regular shape. Elements placed far from the center feel heavier. Objects placed in the corners or about one third into the frame automatically have more visual wave due to the rule of thirds. So a large object close to the center can be balanced with a small object close to the edges of the frame. Additionally, objects in the foreground feel heavier than objects in the background. Vertical objects appear heavier than horizontal objects. Diagonal elements carry the most wave. An isolated element has more visual wave. Imagine a white canvas with one object on it. Your eye will directly go to these objects because there is nothing else to see. Multiple small objects can balance one large object. In this example, the armchair is balanced with a smaller pendant, which consists of several bulbs. Warm colors tend to weigh more than cool colors. Red is considered the heaviest color and yellow the lightest. Also, the less saturated the color is, the less visual wave it has. In this image, the idea was to show the collection of products, the tables. Because the background is toned, the saturated tops of the tables stand out. The viewer's attention is automatically directed to these tables. Textured element appears heavier than smooth, non-textured objects. Textures are just more interesting for our eyes. Objects in focus will generally carry more visual wave than those that are out of focus. 
This is a quick and easy way to draw attention to focal point. These examples show how different the viewer's perception can be, depending on the focal point the artist chooses. In the first image, the attention is drawn to the bunch of flowers, second one emphasizes the inner part of the kitchen. Moving objects attract our attention more than stationary ones. By adding the movement to the curtains, the viewer's eyes are directed to the house, which is the object of this visualization. These rules can be combined and can be trapped by other factors. So, for example, when a small object has higher contrast than a large object, our eyes can go first to a small object. Remember that this works the same as I told you with the rules of composition. These are only the guidelines to help you to improve your composition. So you can break these rules if that's what you are going for. Squinting your eyes will help you to see abstract colors, forms and shapes. It will be much easier to you to see where the contrast is, where the brightest and the most saturated parts of the image are. Okay, I think that's it for today. Thanks for watching and also don't forget to like this video if you found this interesting, share it, subscribe and do all these wonderful things. See you guys in the next video.